What's up? Why is it zoomed in? Let's try that again. What's up, guys? I didn't even make a new clip. Yeah, I am very good at this. Whoa. Oh, this is awkward. Okay, so I'm out here watching a bid. Trying to win a Kenny that I can decapitate. Because I love Kenny. So I went to a thrift store, right? And you all know how I like Pusheen, right? I've got three little Pusheens. And I'm trying to get a couple more after I get this Kenny. Kenny, I love you. Okay, but yeah, thrift store. So, I got this one for Christmas, this one for Christmas, and this one for Christmas. Yeah. They're all real pusheens. So I went to a thrift store, right? And I found a pusheen. It was 50 cents, so how could I not? But I quickly noticed that, like... <laughs> I got a fake pusheen. <laughs> I didn't even know that they made pusheen fakes. Okay. Two minutes? Okay. I didn't even know that they made fakes. Like, you can tell it's a fake because it's a different color. And then here the whiskers are more properly cut. See, they're like both a specific shape and they're the same size. And then here, like, one's thicker than the other and it's like made of some cheap foam. No, some cheap felt material. You know, kind of like dollar store stuff. Um... It's got this stitching here that these ones don't really seem to have. I mean, maybe like a little. The lines on the head are this color, lighter. Uh, the little feet are off. And then the back is another noticeable thing, like. And then it's got like this cute little small tail. It's got this huge thing. Pusheen tag, no pusheen tag. My only question is, well, I looked it up. I looked up Pusheen knockoffs online, and I couldn't find anything. So, what is this thing, and where did it come from, and why did I get it for 50 cents at a thrift store? I keep screaming, but God won't answer. I won the Kenny. Hell yeah. Okay, doll room time. Time to reunite the Dawn of the Dance dolls, even though I'm still missing one. Yes. God, it's a mess in here. Oh, I've had multiple people in my comments being like, I would love to clean your room. And I'm like, <laughs> then come on over. Oh, God. I would clean it. I just don't know where to put everything. I don't know if I need another shelf or like a bin to just throw some dolls in. I genuinely don't know what to do. Anyway, time to reunite Dawn of the Dance. Acquired Gulia from eBay. Cleo from the flea market. Claudine, also from the flea market. Draculaura, also from the flea market, but she's missing a shoe. Mm, look at them toes. <laughs> I've been making toe jokes all day. I can't stop. And Frankie, from Facebook, because someone had a re-release listed. And Deuce, from eBay. Okay, honestly, Gloria and Deuce are probably like a good $60 together. Because I remember she was like 30 and he was like 30 and... That's festive. Sad that I spent less money on Draculaura, the rarest Dawn of the Dance doll, than I did on Deuce or Golia. Press F to pay respects. This is so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. I'm gonna die. Okay, so I think a goal for this video should be like someone organizing my doll room. Nah. That's, that's overrated. Alright, let's look at my setup. Okay, so these ones are gonna be sold on eBay, so I should probably put them somewhere. Garot needs a stand. I need a lot more boy stands than I have. Okay, I've got an idea. Okay, I think so far my idea is working a little. There's more of a pathway over here. Basically, I just stood a bunch of dolls up against like a wall and stuff. A wall or... I can talk. I'm good at talking. Okay, so Garot, we could just stick him right here. Me and my friend, my best friend who I... <clears throat> okay, so me and my best friend have a joke about him because he was listed on Mercury as Boy Monster High Doll. And I sent them a picture. I'm like, look at my best boy. And then she's like, best boy, Boy Monster High Doll. And that's just kind of what we call him now. Like, yes, Garot's a beautiful doll. I'm happy I have him. Well, even though he's got an earring. <laughs> but yeah. That's my little Garot story. Organization has worked so far. My doll room's already looking better. Why did I leave my phone over there? So I don't know what to do with these dolls. All I know is that they are for sure going to be sold online. My mom said that we could start listing them soon. Because, you know, I'm a kid. I need to ask my mom to do things. Also, I don't really know how to work eBay. Hmm. So, one other thing. Okay. One other thing.
things I really don't know what to do is like, I don't know where to put my Bratzillas. I don't have a stand. A lot of them don't have stands. So I don't really have a shelf to display them on. I'm thinking for now I could just put some over here. Come here, Victoria. Victoria, I'll give back your bracelet soon. It's part of the war. Mm. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to do with this Laguna either. This Viperine I'm gonna have to hold on to for like two or three years. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it looks a little better. There's still ways to go, but... It looks better. Hear the sounds The angels come screaming down your voice I hear you've been bleeding Make your choice They say you've been bleeding Someone save us, heaven help us now. Come crashing down, we'll hear the sound as you're falling down. That song's been stuck in my head for like two days. I just realized I haven't done anything for the doll war lately. We got a Bratzilla teamed up with some Monster High, uh, no, with a Monster High, a Brat, a Kitty, and a Pixel, and a Harley, probably, because, mm, Harley! Yeah. I also haven't, I haven't done anything on my way to Wonder Woman Briar. I have so many possibilities. Of things I could do with my dolls. And I don't. In other news, Toys R Us is still open in Canada, so guess where I'm gonna- guess where I'm moving? Great Britain. I just remembered something. Do you guys remember when I got my pull-up, um, Betasusha? <laughs> her. Ah! I slipped and I knocked her thing down. <laughs> Why are my pants right here? And I'm wearing pants, but... <laughs> okay, so y'all remember the drama with her, right? She came with broken wrists and stuff. Yeah, so like... I realized that the seller is actually like an, a legitimate store. A legitimate carrier of pullet products. I literally battled like a small company. And I won. Whoa. Okay, but like... In all like fairness or whatever they didn't list that the doll may may arrive broken like they said that she the way that they worded it it was like doll may break like no i don't even remember <sighs> they've changed it now because of how i called them out but like i remember that it said something that sounded like the doll like her wrists might break or like some part of her might break after playing with her a lot not that she might arrive with her wrist up where her thing is. You know, up where her little winding key is. Yeah, they didn't say that, so. <laughs> wow, I am dumb. I'm not even talking and you can just, you can feel a sense of disappointment, can't you? All right, simply put, Susaseki dropped her watering can, right? I went to give it back to her, and her wrist just straight up snapped off. Yes, she's from 2006, and that's not on the seller, so this time it's on me, because it's been two years. So I just, I need a super glue her. <laughs> I just, I need super glue. It's, it's the only way. I can't find the super glue, and my mom won't tell me where it is. I think she knows. No, she doesn't know. I think that she doesn't know, and that's why she didn't tell me, because she would've. She trusts me with super glue. I think. I just realized this video is pretty long, so... I think I'm gonna end it here, and I'll make like another one tomorrow or something. With an update. On Susaseki. Maybe even a Doll War episode. 
I don't know. My motivation's slowly coming back, so I might start posting more frequently. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video, and uh, yeah. Bye!